squirrel with a gun bro what the f never in my 31 years of good good life would i have ever imagined i'd sit down to play a game that asks me to take the form of a freaking squirrel who for reasons unknown to mankind is able to carry an assortment of things while also well i don't know wreak havoc with a freaking pistol for starters but also any other firearm it finds on its journey to take over the world presumably now as the name suggests squirrel with a gun is exactly that a game that the world didn't ask for but sorely needed as you are literally a squirrel with a gun look i know i'm repeating myself but man that is mind-blowingly weird of a game that is so weird before we get into whatever the frig this game is i do want to give a massive shout out to lurk it as well as dd creations for providing me with a key for the game so if you're interested in playing this game for yourself then click the link in the description box down below and grab your copy of the game also do people say grab a copy of a game anymore anyway let's get into whatever the the game is if it's any fun to play and of course if you should be playing it so subscribe if you're new and let's get on with the premise of the game which is minimal admittedly but i do think that one person who is interested in the lore of this game should know it as you start off as this squirrel in a lab and you find yourself oddly intrigued by a golden acorn that is floating behind some force field thingy and that's it that's the lore broski i don't know what else to say because that's where the game kind of takes off it's just it just throws you into the deep End pretty much in this lab the game teaches you the basics of traversal carrying and throwing items as well as the all-important shooting of the weapons you make your great escape quickly enough and learn some additional things like being able to do finishers as well as jump multiple times with the weapon you have equipped by shooting it downwards while also realizing man the people in this world seem to have an excess amount of lava just laying around because that stuff is everywhere liquid hot magma now once you finally make it out of the underground lab and set your sights on a beautiful beautiful car that you oh so dearly want but see that to get this car or any other item in the game you have to collect smaller acorns as well as these larger golden ones that are scattered around in the world around you <laughs> and this is basically the game as you start collecting these golden acorns by doing puzzles both simple and complex in an effort to well get more stuff to essentially just grow your arsenal of things that you own and can spawn whenever you want Oh wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> I do have to say, when I started playing this game, I was not expecting to play it for long periods at a time, honestly. To then suddenly realizing three hours had gone by, and I was in the midst of fighting a freaking tank who had the name Daddy, and I had a grenade launcher. Like, it's just mental. There are so many things to see and do, and while the game gives you this general idea of what your objective is, i.e. collect the freaking acorns, it's up to you as the player, or in this case, squirrel, to figure out how to get your hands on these ever so golden acorns personally i do love games that don't hold your hand by telling you every step to take or every move to make no oh no no diddy but instead kind of lets you figure out for yourself and this is where the game absolutely shines now similar to other games in the genre like for example goat simulator to my knowledge there is only one map that is segmented into well segments and it starts off small with multiple points of interest and then once you complete a specific objective the map opens up and and you get more and more objectives and POIs, which is short for points of interest, bro. In my around five-ish, maybe six-ish hours with the game, I managed to collect a bunch of golden acorns and unlock almost everything in the small area of play that I had in front of me. But what was interesting was the kind of opening area end boss. It was a freaking tank, like I mentioned earlier. Of all things, aptly named Daddy or Father. I'll not say that first word again. And to get to him was a process, of course, of collecting enough gold and acorns to unlock the car first of all then drive through this course surrounded by lava to then fall into an arena where you get to go toe to wheel with a tank do tanks have wheels what do they have Truts? Truts? What the hell are they called? Let me know in the comments down below. I do have to say about this tank boss fight, it was very challenging until I discovered the freaking bomb suit that negates almost all explosive damage. So yeah, after that, it was a relatively easy fight to complete. I was kind of hoping to drive the tank afterwards, admittedly, but hey, maybe in the future, devs, if you're listening. In any case, like I said just now, I was wearing the bomb suit, meaning there are outfits to find for this freaking beautiful, adorable squirrel. The other outfits that you find in the game might or might not give you some stat boosts as well as just look cool in general on top of customizing your looks you get to benefit from some of these outfits because bro let me tell you the difference between pre-bomb suit tank boss fight to post-bomb suit tank boss fight 
What the f*** are you talking about? It's night and day, bro. So it's well worth looking around the map for all these additional stuff. Honestly, I would have hoped maybe the other outfits as well had some additional bonuses. Like even being able to jump higher or move faster even a bit. But yeah, maybe in the, further on in the game you find these things. Because for now, I just found the bomb suit had the really big difference. But the other suits not so much to be honest so there are positives and negatives to wearing these suits now one thing you won't find in the game which you can find below is this subscribe button broski so if you've enjoyed the video so far do subscribe to the channel as it would make a huge difference in this channel and getting the video out there for more awesome broskis like yourself but as you are a squirrel not in irl but in this game with a gun the focus of the game is in the weapons of course that you find and there are thankfully more than just a pistol as well oh, i haven't played enough yet to unlock the freaking rocket launcher because there is that also in the game but a uzi a double barrel shotgun a magnum revolver and a grenade launcher do do the job well enough as they do do no the shooting does have a good bit of oomph to it and well it was very surprising the first time you shot a weapon because well you are a literal squirrel after all so the kickback in some of these weapons send you absolutely flying backwards so word to the wise be sure to press forward when you're shooting a weapon there are also some rather fun looking finishers in the game that not only help you look cool but also makes you immune to damage it helps you potentially regain health because of the small acorns that burst out of the mob's pockets of which also quick note you can also just rob people by pointing a gun at them and they drop all of their acorns out of their pockets now nah, that is absolutely cool that is a weird addition to the game but it's really cool not in real life of course but in a virtual world man i can't believe i just endorsed freaking robbing people for their precious acorns don't do that don't do that anyway i think the big question people might be asking at this moment in time especially is whether all this makes for a fun game to play and to that i would like to say i had an absolute blast playing this game i loved hopping off some larger scale rpgs to just do some random shit in this game and just have mindless fun and i do think this is the whole idea behind squirrel with a gun as it's not this super epic tale nor is it super lord heavy or very deep of an rpg but it's just fun the game runs super well on pc and while the graphics aren't mind-blowing the squirrel animations look scary realistic bro to the point where now as i'm walking around in the irl world through a park and see a squirrel i do have to kind of take a double take at that squirrel just to see if he pulls out a freaking gun out of his ass to rob me of all my precious acorns man my precious acorns the game just works as this blow off some steam type of game where you might log on after a long day of work or just having put the kids to sleep in the evening and just go crazy with the game and have some absolute mindless fun you could also just be very much into these types of games broski who am i to judge your gaming preference in which case you'll feel right at home here because the sheer amount of things to do in this game rivals that of skyrim my man now okay obviously that's a joke and a lie this does not compare to skyrim in any which way you can take that statement about as seriously as this game takes itself at times if you liked goat simulator again man this will be right up there in terms of weird but fun games to just have fun in but also if you've never played any other game like this in the genre then i do highly recommend giving this a go because it might really surprise you in the amount of fun that this game provides man this is a perfect kind of start off point for playing these types of games i found this to be like i said the perfect game to just blow off some steam and enjoy for either 20 or 30 minutes at a time or alternatively you can be like me and just get hyper focused on achieving certain objectives like defeating this freaking tank boss or collecting all the flag posts in the area and then go and spend a good two hours on a freaking session now speaking of steam would you look at that the link in the description is for the steam page of the game and buying the game through that link helps this channel out a lot i mean if you're buying the game regardless then why not do it through the link below am i right anyway should you be playing this game well, how the f should i know i was only here to tell you my experience with the game and if i liked it you can do whatever you want and i hope you do tell me in the comments down below man what you think of this game if you're picking it up if you're if it's a solid pass for you as well i do want to know any and all opinions man i mean if you like this video if you do if you want to see some other games be covered on this channel do comment them down below or send me a dm man let's do all of that man i enjoyed this game a hey, absolute ton it was a surprise for me probably one of the bigger surprises of the year to be very honest with you but yeah man that was just my opinion i've been your boy i don't know how to edit in this video so here's a freaking meme that i think of while editing this video man hasta prontaisimo you think you think i care look at me do i look like i care look just take it. do i look like I care? look at me look just, no Sharice. look at me do i look like i care look i don't care